A sitemap is a visual display of the content on a website, including videos, images, files, and pages. Sitemaps are used by web designers, web visitors, and search engines to plan and or navigate the content of a website. If you're a web or UX designer, you use sitemaps to visualize the planned content of a website. As a site visitor, you use it to navigate to specific pages. And lastly, crawlers from search engines like Google use sitemaps to understand the content of a website. The purpose of a sitemap is to ensure you create a positive user experience on the website you're building. With a sitemap, you're able to see and test how a user will interact with your site. Our comprehensive guide on site mapping explains that user journey mapping helps you answer questions like, what tasks are users trying to complete on your site? What people, things, or places may influence how the user acts? How the user feels about their experience on the website? What pain points are users trying to overcome with your site? And what are users ultimately trying to complete using your site? Once you have answers to these questions, build your sitemap from there. Sitemaps are typically organized as lists or flowchart diagrams, and pages are displayed as boxes or cells, and lines are used to demonstrate links between pages. Site mapping for website architecture. There are two major ways to organize a website. Flat site architecture, which has fewer layers under the subpages, and silo architecture, which has fewer subpages but many layers under each. When designing your sitemap, it can be helpful to use a six-step methodology as a guide. Number one, before you build, define your website's goals and designate a sitemap team who will be responsible for the design. Number two, plan navigation. Plan your navigation that will live directly beneath your homepage as a second level. Number three, define parent pages. Consider how you want to organize your content so that it makes sense to users and is easy to navigate. Number four, expand child pages. Add more in-depth related content under your parent pages to provide more value to readers. Number five, test scenarios. Put your site map to the test by testing ways your visitors may navigate your site and try grouping content in different ways to find the best solution. And number six, include page content, page types, and notes. Add more details on what the pages will include, what types of pages they will be, and any notes a developer may need. Overall, providing a sitemap to everyone involved ensures that you work efficiently, understand the site's structure and content.